this is our first, this is my first time teaching on the internet and how are you? I hope you are all fine, uh, we miss you so much and, and okay, so we're going to have our class now and I'm going to teach you some vocabulary and then we're going to go to the grammar, okay, and then I'm going to leave some homework to you, for you to do. So, let's start with the vocabulary. <clears throat> okay, so let's start. Uh, so, here I brought some words for you, for us to practice our pronunciation, okay? So, this is this class for class B, okay? So, I know that you know lots of words already, but we're gonna practice some words, okay? So, let's start with the word nurse, okay? So, let's repeat nurse so this is a nurse okay so nurses are the people who work in the hospital like helping to take care of the people in the hospital okay they give them medicine they uh, help to help to take care of people okay so at this time of the year now that we're having this all of this uh, quarantine where we have to stay at home and people are in the hospital because of this virus so we have lots of nurses working right now, so we give a thank you for the nurses as well, okay? So we take this opportunity, okay? So nurse, this word. Uh, second word, we're going to talk about early and late, okay? These words, they are opposite words, okay? So what's early? So we have a time, time to wake up, for example. So if you, if you wake up, before this time, you are early, okay? So this this child here, he said, I love waking up early, okay? So when you wake up, like, before the, the time, so you are early, you're okay, okay? But sometimes you wake up late, okay? So let's repeat, late. Early, late. So when you wake up late, because it's already it has already passed the time and you were just like oh my god I'm late okay so when we had our classes in at Giro uh, our classes start at 10 okay so if you arrive at 10 past 10 you are late we're not early okay next word birthday party actually there are two words there birthday party so birthday, you know, when you are uh, when you are completing one year, so we have our birthday. You know this already. And a party is like, woohoo, we have a party, okay? Where we're gonna see people, eat, dance, okay? So the birthday party, example. And upsetting. Uh, so let's just repeat this word here: birthday party. Really good and upsetting. Let's repeat. Upsetting. What is upsetting? Upsetting is an adjective and it shows something that makes you feel sad, worried, like it is not good. We don't feel good. Okay, so this is upsetting. So um, if someone tells you something and you don't like it, Oh, yes. oh, this is so upsetting, okay? You kind of get sad, you get sad. So, upsetting is, is close to sad, um, to make you worried, worried is like thinking a lot about something, okay? This is upsetting. Next one, noisy. Let's repeat, noisy and quiet. Repeat, quiet. So, noisy, is, this is a noise. Boom! This is a noise. Noisy is the adjective that is making lots of noise. Okay, oh, it's too noisy. Noisy. And quiet. Silence. Okay, this is quiet. Okay. Great. Next one. Glad. Oh, I'm glad. What is glad? Glad is when you are happy, when you are satisfied with something. Okay, so this is glad. Oh, I'm so glad to see you, for example. I'm so happy to see you. Okay, so this is glad. Let's repeat. Glad. Great. Next one. 
naughty kids or naughty kids uh, kids you know like uh, children and naughty is when they are just like oh they like to do like things that are not so so right so they are always like making a mess like doing things that they're not supposed to do like painting on the walls these are naughty kids like making a, a confusion a mess okay great um last words i guess we have kind let's repeat kind rude rude and news wait i think we forgot to to repeat these words glad naughty kids great so what is kind oh to be kind it's when a person it's like oh you're when a person is really polite you know really thoughtful when the person thinks about the other person okay so if you see someone feeling hungry oh i'm gonna give you some food okay so this is to be kind and uh, kind of the opposite is to be rude when it's just like you don't feel uh you don't treat people well so it's like oh you scream at people like in this picture here she's like ah. so she's being rude she's not polite what is polite like when you are uh, when you treat people well when you're like nice to people okay when you're not nice to people you're being rude okay and news what is news so news is uh, something new okay so for example you can see like in the newspaper newspaper okay that paper that you have lots of um, lots of texts about new things so these are news okay oh, or you can it can also be an expression like oh tell me the news tell me what's going on like like that is new that i don't know okay news great okay now we're going to go into the grammar okay guys so you've learned about the present a lot you know you remember it's like oh i am i am deborah i am uh, 30 years old this is the present or <clears throat> i am working i am studying we also learn present continuous and and when you talk about someone else oh she is tall she's short this is all in the present we're talking about things in the present now we're gonna talk about the past okay so you're gonna learn how to talk about the past and that's great because now you know how to talk about things that are going on now and in the past too okay so how we talk in the past starting with the verb to be that is simple past okay the verb to be in the past do you remember that in the present it used to be i am happy this is the present so in the past it's going to, we're going to use was okay i was happy in the past she i'm uh, sorry he was hungry I remember hungry right oh i'm hungry she was a nurse we just learned this word nurse okay that word is in the hospital it was big okay we were early so the verb to be here we would say i am he is she is it is but now in the past all of this uh in the singular all of the subjects in singular they're gonna come with was and all of the subjects in plural they're gonna come with were okay so we were early you were at school they were quiet okay so we have these two so the, the past simple for verb to be is really easy you have just was and were if it's singular we're gonna use was if it's plural we're gonna use were okay and remembering that you you even if it's singular if you're talking to one person you're gonna use were it's like when we we learned the present of the present of verb to be uh, we you just talking a bit, little bit of Portuguese now. O you, mesmo no singular, né? Se fosse você, 
a gente usava com are, lembram? E no plural também. Então, aqui continua a mesma coisa. O you, ele sempre vem com were. Ele sempre vem como se fosse no plural. Mesmo se você estiver falando com uma pessoa só. O you sempre vem com were. Great? Mas o restante aqui é tudo no singular. A gente fala was e no plural a gente põe were. Então, tranquilo, né? É só treinar mesmo a mesma pronúncia e usar bastante para a gente de, é, memorizar. Então, vamos repetir. Was and were. Were. Was. Were. Great. What about the negative, guys? When we're going to talk about the negative, we're going to add a not here, okay? So, was not were not but there is a short form for was not which is wasn't so let's repeat wasn't and the short form for were not is weren't let's repeat weren't really good so in the negative some examples i wasn't sad he wasn't thirsty remember thirsty when you just you want to drink mm. I'm thirsty, I need some water, okay? Great. She wasn't a teacher, it wasn't small, okay? So this is the negative form. We weren't late, you weren't at home, they weren't noisy, remember? Noisy, too much noise. Okay, so these are the two forms, okay? Was, were, wasn't, weren't. Great? Cool. So, just one more example. Before, we were talking in the present. I, we learned how to say in the present. So, for example, he is tall. Okay? He is tall. This is in the present. If it was in the past, we would say he was short, for example. So, the same guy. This is the same guy. Okay? In the past, he was short. But now, he is tall. Okay? So, we use, when we talk about the past, we use was, he was, short, and now he is tall. Okay? So, this is the past simple for the verb to be. Easy? Okay? If you have any questions, please ask me. And now we have your homework, okay? So, we're going to complete this sentence with the past form of the verb to be. So, for example, Rebecca was or were not in my class. Okay? So, complete with was or were and that's your homework. So, we have 15 sentences to complete. Ok? Ok, guys, that's it. Muito bem. Então, gente, esse é o dever de casa. Aí eu peço que vocês realizem até quarta-feira e enviem para o ou, ou a, a, o padrinho de vocês, o padrinho ou a, pad, ou a madrinha, ok? Aí vocês enviam para eles, eles vão corrigir, vão te falar quais questões você acertou ou errou. E aí na próxima aula a gente corrige as principais questões, caso a gente tenha é, alguns que não, nem todos tenham acertado, e a gente passa a próxima matéria no próximo fim de semana, ok? So, lots of kisses, of hugs, miss you so much. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.